We begin. The Benin airport was ablamed with a lot of pageantries as supporters of the newly reinstated Deputy Governor of Edo State, Honorable Philip Shaibu, we are present to receive him from Abuja after the favorable Federal High Court ruling. On his entourage from the flight from Abuja was the APC gubernatorial candidate, Senator Mandu Gwawalu, and of course friends and well wishes. But the celebration and jubilation was short-lived as some ham talks outside the airport exchanged gunshots with security operatives present. BTV News' best orator has the details. Atmosphere surrounding the arrival of the newly reinstated Deputy Governor of the State, Right Honorable Cameron Filishaibu, at the premises of the Bini Airport was one of pomp and forfeit as his supporters from around the state gave him a warm reception in large numbers. <laughs> The celebration was, however, cut short as gunshots from talks that stationed outside the Bini Airport exit gate shooting directly into the airport created panic and uneasy calm at the airport. The security personnel who had earlier arrived at the airport to receive the deputy governor exchanged gunshots with the talk. It was learned that two persons, a police officer and a civilian lost their life in the process. A vehicle was attacked and destroyed by the talks. The ensuing gunshots and violence made innocent citizens and journalists to scamper for safety. Vehicular movement at the Bini Airport Road was at a standstill. <laughs> Why the authority of the Deputy Governor, Right Honorable Cameron Philip Schreiber, and APC Governorship candidate Senator Mondeo Pueblo, and others were marked safe as the road was later cleared for their passage. Earlier, before Shaibu's arrival, some supporters said they were at the airport to receive the reinstated Deputy Governor. This is why we are here today. This is we are waiting for the arrival of the most vibrant, most vibrant Deputy Governor. The judgment of uh, Motoshaw, the Federal High Court judgment yesterday restricted the former Deputy Governor, who is now the Deputy Governor, as a Deputy, as a legitimately elected Deputy Governor of the state. That's why we are here. We are here to receive a brother, a friend, and the objective Deputy Governor of uh, those states. And uh, you can see the numbers of the youth that is here. That's to show that Felicia Ibo is truly the humble. On the long run, as God could it, judgment was passed yesterday. And we are here to assist with him and show solidarity too. According to information, those who sustained injuries are receiving treatment at the hospital. Best Orator reporting for BTV News.